Hi, my name is Nicole Moore and I am a Juki brand ambassador. Today I want to show you the Juki J350 QVP. Let's get started. The LCD display panel offers many features that can easily be adjusted with the touch of your finger. For instance, you can adjust your speed by either pressing the plus to increase your speed or the minus to lower your speed. There's also different stitch modes that you can use. There's four standards to choose from. There's a cruise mode, precise mode, the base stitch, and finally the manual stitch. When you change stitch modes, other settings on the LCD display automatically change to suit the parameters of that particular mode. You can also determine what stitch per inch you'd like to maintain for the cruise and precise stitch modes. The needle up down button will bring your needle up or down with the press of this button. The bobbin estimating function is where you can input your bobbin thread length. Check your manual which has a rough indication reference and applies to a multitude of thread types for your convenience. When you press the settings button, a menu appears where you can adjust your handle lights, you can also adjust the needle lights and the volume from the screen as well. The tools button has many higher function settings and also a handy calculator. The kickoff function will help you activate and deactivate JSS with a touch of the pedal. The custom button pedal switch gives you lots of options on how you want your foot controller to operate. Each selection has a companion image that is self-explanatory of its function. One of my favorite features about this machine is the thread trimmer, and you can decide if you want to use this feature through this function. I hope you found this video helpful for your quilting journey. If you'd like to learn more about this machine, head over to jukiquilting.com and locate your nearest dealer.